I want to show you how I'm going to be upgrading from my current Windows 7 operating system, and this will also work with Windows 8, to the latest Windows 10 for free on Microsoft.com. And right now it's for free, but of course that can change at any time. It's my opinion that Microsoft wants everyone's computer that meets the Windows 10 system requirements on Windows 10. Which brings up my disclaimers. First of all, make sure that you back up everything on your computer prior to the upgrade because if something happens, well, to the operating system, not so much of a big deal, at least for me, than if I lose all my files. And remember the old adage, if you have one backup, you have no backups. If you have two, you have one. If you have three, you have two. Because when you do the restore from your one backup, if something happens along the way and you're like, oopsie doodle, well, hey, if you had another backup, you're okay. So I would have two backups of your computer. Number two, follow me. Do everything that I'm doing in this video and don't get off the beaten path because if you do something you're not sure about, you could turn to stone and so could your computer. And then number three, system requirements, which we'll go over in just a minute, and that includes having the latest updates of your current operating system, Windows 7 or Windows 8, just prior to upgrading to Windows 10. So to check my Windows 7 operating system to make sure I have the latest updates just prior to upgrading to Windows 10, then come with me, good neighbor, down below and click on the Start button. Go to the Control Panel. Come up here and click on System and Security. There's the Windows Update. Let's go ahead and click on Check for Updates. Now it says Windows is up to date, but I don't trust that. I want to make sure that I do have the latest updates by coming over here in the task pane and clicking on check for updates. Now throughout my video, it's going to be a real short video compared to all the downloading, the updates when it comes to updating to Windows 10. So just keep that in mind. My video is going to go a lot faster than the actual upgrading that it's going to take for you to get to Windows 10. So there we go. Windows is up to date. Great. I'm ready to go. So let me go ahead and close out of here and open up Internet Explorer, whatever browser you want to use. And hey, there's my website, dreamforce.us. Quick plug, if you're looking for Microsoft Office training, I've been certified since 2000 on all the Office applications there, and I have the latest, Office 2016, also Office 2013, 2010, 2007. Not only do you get the videos on DVD or downloads, but you'll also get the exercises, instructor notes, and quizzes. So go ahead and check me out. In any case, there's my plug. Let's come up here and do a search for download Windows 10 and hit enter. I'm going through the Yahoo search engine, so let me scroll down below this line because everything above it is an ad. And we're looking for the domain Microsoft.com when it comes to download Windows 10 because anything else and who knows what you're getting. I'm going straight to the makers of it. So with Microsoft.com download Windows 10, click on it. And there we go. To get started, you'll first need to have a license to install Windows 10, meaning that if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, make sure that it's activated, and I'll show you that in just a minute, because if it's activated, you can go ahead and download the tool now, which will start the process of upgrading from the current operating system 7 or 8 to Windows 10. But before we do that, I recommend that you read, well, everything here. I went through it, and I found out some, like for example, when you upgrade from Windows 7 and you like the application, the Windows Media Center, it's going to be wiped off. You can't have that in Windows 10. So if you really like it, uh, you might want to find some other alternative. In any case, let's go ahead and expand using the tool to upgrade this PC to Windows 10. Click on it. And like I said, read everything here in case there's some application that's not going to come over like the Windows Media Center if it's something that's dear to your heart. And let me click on to get to the meat and potatoes system requirements. And scroll down. And there it is, the processor. You've got to have at least a 1 gigahertz or faster processor. For internal memory, if you have a 32-bit system, it's got to be 1 gigabyte. If you have a 64, you've got to have 2 gigabytes. And I'll show you how you can find out if you have a 64 or 32-bit system. For hard disk space, again, back to the 32-bit, 16 gigabytes. If you have 64, it's going to be 20 gigabytes. So where do you go to find out what you got here? Let's come down here, click on the Start button. Come up here on the computer, right click on it, and go down and left click on Properties. There you go, up at the top, this is the system information for my computer here. I've got Windows 7 Ultimate installed, Service Pack 1. And the processor is, is it 1 gigahertz? Hey, it's 3.3 gigahertz, so I pass. And then installed memory, 6 gigabytes, but it wants to know that if I have a 64-bit system, that the minimum is 2 gigabytes. And, well, I got a 64-bit system here. I got more than the minimum, so I'm good. If it was a 32-bit system, then you could have 1 gigabyte for your internal memory. 
And then before we take a look at the hard drive to see if we have enough space, go down below and you can see that my product key, Windows, is activated. So when I upgrade, it'll see that I actually have a valid genuine copy of Microsoft Windows 7, so it'll proceed to the upgrade. Now to find out, let me go ahead and close out of here, how much hard space that I have, because remember, if I have a 32-bit, I need 16 gigabytes. If I have 64, 20 gigabytes, go ahead and click on the Start button, and then just click on Computer. And there's my hard drive, the C drive. I have 45 gigabytes free. I'm good. So let's go ahead and close out of here. And I wouldn't be pushing it here. Like if you have just 20 gigabytes, oh, that could be squishy. And you may run into issues. I would have at least a few gigabytes more than their minimum requirements. So that's my recommendation in any case. Let me go ahead and close out of here. Check out everything here. Make sure that the requirements you meet, both software and hardware, because a lot of the problems that I see people run into is that they barely meet the requirements or they don't quite meet it for the hardware. They don't have enough internal memory or hard disk drive space. And it just either doesn't update or it freezes or they haven't done the software where they get the latest updates for their Windows 7 or 8 operating systems. So get that ready and then read the rest. And if you're okie dokie with it, let's go ahead and scroll back up and click on the download tool now. And down below, do you want to run it? Of course we do. Click yes, and getting a few things ready. Applicable notices and license terms, read all that. More information, privacy statement. If you're okie dokie with that, then go ahead and click accept. Getting a few more things ready here. What do you want to do? Do you want to upgrade this PC now or some other PC? So if you want to upgrade another PC, you can create an installation media on a USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC. Well, I want to do it on this PC, so I'll leave it as is and just click Next. And here we go. So I'm not going to sit here and yammer while we're waiting for this to progress from 0 to 100%. So I'll go ahead and do some magic, and we'll jump ahead. And keep in mind, it's going to be a lot longer for you than what this video takes to be able to get through the steps. And then after it's done downloading here, which is just a few percentage points off, you can still work on your PC. And that little teeny tiny text, oh, isn't that nice? It's going to verify my download here. Creating the Windows 10 media. Feel free to keep using your PC still. Great. I'll set up this cleaning things up. Now it's going to be checking for updates. So again, we'll fly through this. Getting a few things ready now. Applicable notices and license terms, go ahead and read through that. Got more information. If you're okie dokie with that, click on accept. Now getting the updates, and it's going to take a few minutes. So we'll fly through this. I'm making sure you're ready to install, making sure we got enough space. Ready to install. You won't be able to use your PC while the Windows installs. Save and close your files before you begin. To recap, you've chosen to install Windows 10 Pro. Keep personal files and apps. I can change what to keep. Let me click on that. So I can keep my files and applications. Or I can just keep personal files only and not the programs or nothing. Everything's going to be wiped clean. Ooh, that sounds spooky. I'm going to keep personal files and apps and leave it as is and click Next. And here we go. More updates. Here we go, making sure PC has enough space. Okay, it's ready to install. So let's go ahead and click on Install. And our PC is going to restart several times. This may take a while, so you go ahead and do what you need to do. I'm going to put this to sleep, and, and then when we come back in just a few seconds, we'll be near the end here of the percent complete. Restarting again, and still working on it. Now it's 75%, getting closer. Hey, there we go. Welcome to Windows 10, Kurt. Oh, that's nice. Let's go ahead and click Next. Choose the privacy settings for your device. Microsoft puts you in control of your privacy. Well, that's good. Location. Do you want to get location-based experiences like local weather? No, I don't want them to see where I'm at. 
speech recognition, talk to Cortana, and store apps that support voice recognition, send Microsoft your voice? Mm, no thanks. Diagnostics, help us fix things and improve Microsoft products and services, send data, including a lot of stuff about you on your computer, to Microsoft? No thanks. I'm just a big no-no today, aren't I? Tailored experiences with diagnostic data get more relevant tips and recommendations to tailor... No, thanks. You know, sending my information out, I'm kind of a private guy. Except when I'm on YouTube, I suppose. Let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting to you? No, thanks. I'm just one big no, and we'll accept all the no-nos. And apparently they won't let me let go of Cortana. Cortana's your sidekick. Oh, that makes it nice. Sure, I'll go ahead because now I feel it's a part of me. To provide personalized experiences and suggestions, Microsoft's going to collect some information. I'm kind of a private guy, or as much as I can be. So I'm going to say, not now. Now here, we've got new apps for Microsoft Windows. Or So Microsoft has apps to open up your photos and videos to view them, listen to music, Edge to help you find things faster, take notes directly on web pages movies and TV. So if you don't want to use those apps, you can say, let me choose my default apps and then go ahead and choose what you want to use, what you don't want to use. I'm going to go ahead and go with the defaults and leave them all checked and say next. Oh, they got some updates for my PC. Isn't that nice? Yay, let's start. Please do. We've got Windows 10 up and running, and then you can just go ahead and follow everything else that it provides you with, like uh, the best browser ever, sync your browsing favorites, bookmarks, get apps, and we're good. I'm going to go ahead and close out and not mess with this right now. And then quickly, like I said, because I had a valid registered license for Windows 7, with this upgrade, is it free? Let's see if it's registered and activated here. Let's go ahead and click on the Windows icon and go up to the little cog here, the settings, click on it. Let's go to System, click on that. Come down and click on About. And let's go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to click on Change Product here, Upgrade Your Edition of Windows. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to click on it to show you Activation. Windows is activated with the digital license. Oh, that's great. We're good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.